and I am spending the rest of the day at home in my pajamas getting ready to host a bridal shower tomorrow and this truly is one of my favorite ways to spend the day. I love working on crafts and just different DIYs and getting ready to have people over so really looking forward to it. So tomorrow I'm hosting a bridal shower for my friend Haley. We met when we interned at Disney five years ago. So we interned together, shared a cubicle, and had so many fun times. And it's just really special to get to celebrate her in this way. I remember when she first went on her first date with her fiance and just hearing all the details at work and just being so giggly about it. And now they're getting married and it's just so special. So her wedding's in June and we got to celebrate her bachelorette last week and tomorrow we have the bridal shower. So her maid of honor is co-hosting it with me so she'll be here to help tomorrow but I would love to just get everything I can set up and squared away today just so that tomorrow is a lot more relaxed and we can just do final touches. So I'm going to spend some time making a list of everything I would like to complete and we'll just start crossing things off but really looking forward to spending time working on this and celebrating her DIY bottle ice mold so they sell these on Amazon where you can it's already formatted and a lot simpler but I don't have the actual mold but I'm gonna try to just use what we have to create one so the plan is I'm going to use this vase as the part that I'll put the bottle and I checked it fits nicely so we'll have that in the center and then I have this sugar container. I just transferred the sugar to a different vessel so that I could use this as the outer part of our mold. So I'm gonna put this in the center and then I'm going to add, it's not a super thick um, difference between the two containers, but I think it'll, I think it'll work nicely and hopefully it'll get nice and cold and we'll have it inside so hopefully it'll hold up well at least for one or two hours so I'm going to add some flower petals in the middle of the two containers and then pour water over that and we'll pop it in the freezer and hope for the best did some kind of bug just fly out I just saw something fly out of that flower I don't know I don't know what that was I'm gonna need to roll back the camera to see I just picked this zinnia from the garden, so I don't know if it was a petal or what, but that spooked me. tea party that is sort of the vision and I picked up some flowers from the nursery the other day because I was thinking it'd be really cute to plant some florals in little teacups so I have these two that we'll use for that and then the rest of the teacups I want to use for serving tea um, but I picked up some purslane which I love purslane I think it's really great for potting because a lot of you have actually shared with me in gardening videos that 
the purslane, it can kind of take over garden beds. So I found it works really nicely in a pot. So we'll add this to a cute pot. And then I picked up some fluffy yellow marigolds. They're so cute. So we have these. And then I also have this little one, which is doing, oh, I have two of these, but they're doing really not very well. I think they were too shaded from the other flowers and they need some sunshine. But they are called Portulacas. Portulacas. They look similar to the purslane, um, but just like a little different. And then we have these angel faces, which are beyond dreamy. And Brandon actually inspired me with this because when I came home from a trip recently, he had this potted flower that he got at Trader Joe's for me which was so sweet and he said instead of getting a bouquet of flowers I got you this potted one so that you can either keep it as is or add it to the garden it just like gives that flexibility so I thought that was such a good idea and for this party instead of buying a bunch of already cut florals I picked up the potted ones so that we can use them for the shower and then maybe plant them in the garden so I thought that was just a really smart way to go about it so that we can kind of make them last longer especially during the springtime so I'm going to do some repotting plant some little teapot flowers and then I'm not totally sure where I want to put them I might put some of them by the front door or just sprinkle them throughout our indoor space dreamy oh my goodness I love terracotta pots I think they're just so beautiful and the marigolds are just so bouncy and plush I love them and then this basket I've had for a while with a few different types of succulents and apothos and string of bananas and I used to have this on our front door and I think I'm actually gonna put it back on the front door I added some purslane to the basket as well but currently we have the spring wreath we made on the back door, but a lot of the flowers that I put in the spring wreath were dried florals and the color has faded a lot. So I think this would just be a tad bit cuter and then maybe we'll make a DIY summer wreath soon. I'm making this chicken poblano skillet recipe. It's just you throw everything on the skillet and pop it in the oven. So I'll let you know if that's good. It smells really good. And while the oven's on, I'm going to work on the cake. So I got this yellow cake mix from Trader Joe's. And I'm going to make a sheet pan cake. And then I'm going to cut it. I ordered these circular cutters. Kind of like cookie cutters, but they're a little more thick. So... The hope is that I'll cut them in circles and then have these cute little miniature tea cakes. So hopefully that'll turn out well. And I'm still thinking of what I wanna do for the frosting. I'll probably do a vanilla 
but should I add color to it? Should I keep it simple, add some flowers from the garden on top? I don't know, we're gonna feel it out, see what, see what feels right. I'm gonna go ahead and bake a chocolate cake as well because I do think it'll be really nice to have both vanilla and both chocolate and I don't have a mix for that but I just looked up a recipe and I have all of the ingredients so we should be good to go. is boiling water a whole cup of boiling water I don't think I've ever done that with baking super unique I wonder what the purpose is for I'm sure one of you all will know tea cakes and I'm going to make the frosting in the morning and then we'll piece them together a bit more.
running around this morning, rearranging things, just getting things set up, hanging paper, paper flowers, and baking sourdough. So the sourdough is complete, and the next thing on the agenda is to make icing so we can ice our little tea cakes. And then I wanted to make a olive oil and balsamic dipping oil for the sourdough. I feel like I'm forgetting something else. I think just clean up and make sure everything's tidy and we'll go from there. But these mornings always go by so quickly. I almost forgot to tell you the disaster of the ice mold, the wine bottle mold. One second, please. We are finishing up the sourdough. The second loaf is complete. Beautiful, smells so good. Okay, so the ice mold. I took a video trying to take it out, but it was not, here, let me just show you. I still have something to work with, but it's not ideal. I really just, I really wish I just ordered it from Amazon. Oh my gosh. I put this paper towel on the bottom to just protect it from the fridge, but okay. This is what we're working with. So I showed you that glass container I used for the outer rim, but of course, I'm sure many of you wanted to scream at me saying, water expands when it solidifies, the glass might burst, blah, blah, blah. And I knew this, I knew this, but that was just like a minor detail. I was hoping like, I was just trying to defy, is it physics? I don't know, defy science and use glass. So the glass container, broke in the fridge overnight and it was really hard to get this out and I can't get this middle part out. My idea was to get the middle part out and then put the bottle in the center, but this is just nice and stuck in there. So I'll probably just keep it and put the bottle in there. At least it's XOXO, so it's it's on theme. <laughs> At least we have that, but yeah, just go ahead. I was trying to be resourceful and use things I already have instead of order another thing on Amazon, but in this case, I recommend just ordering it on Amazon.
just finished up cleaning and kind of putting the house back together and I'm ready to take a bath sip on this tea and just relax for the rest of the day it's already 10 p.m. so I'm probably gonna go to bed soon but it was a success Stephanie the maid of honor she did all the games which there was a 20 questions game where she asked the groom 20 questions about the bride and then um, everyone who was there, all the guests could answer what they thought they said, stuff like that. It was really cute. And we just mingled, opened gifts, snacked. So it was a very sweet day, but again, I'm ready to relax. I'm ready to just be cozy. It is a good feeling after a day like today, being able to just kind of reminisce and kick your feet back and just end the day on a nice note so that's what I'm gonna do but thank you so much for watching the cakes turned out cute I think having the garden flower on top really just made them take them was the cherry on top I'll say and then you know the ice mold that was my biggest my biggest faux pas if you will so I think I might invest in one of the ice mold contraptions soon because that is pretty cool to have that and then it comes with like a stainless steel base so it keeps it nice and cool and I just like that I think that's a pretty neat idea but thank you again so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'm excited to see you next